extremely rocky for the Mudville Nine that day. The score stood 42 with but one inning left to play. So when Cooney died at second and Burroughs did the same, a pall-like silence fell upon the patrons of the game. A straggling few got up to go, leaving there the rest with hope that springs eternal from within the human breast. They thought if only Casey could get a whack at that, we'd put up even money now with Casey at the bat. Ah, but Flynn preceded Casey, and likewise so did Blake. And the former was a pudding, and the latter was a fake. So on that stricken multitude, a death-like silence sat. For there seemed but little chance of Casey's getting to the bat. But Flynn let go a single to the wonderment of all, and the much despised Blakey tore the cover off the ball. So when the dust had settled and they saw what had occurred, there was Blakey safe at second, and Flynn a hugging third. Then from the gladdened multitude went up a joyous yell. It bounced from the mountain top and rattled in the dell. It struck up on the hillside and rebounded on the flat. For Casey, mighty Casey, was advancing to the bat. There was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Casey's bearing and a smile on Casey's face. And when responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat. No stranger in the crowd could doubt it was Casey at the bat. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded as he wiped them on his shirt. And when the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, defiance glanced from Casey's eyes, and a sneer curled Casey's lip. And now the leather-covered sphere came hurtling through the air, and Casey stood a-watching it in haughty grandeur there. Close by the sturdy batsman, the ball unheeded sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire said. The benches black with people, there went up a muffled roar, like the beaches of the storm waves on a stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire! Someone shouted from the stand. And it's likely that have killed him had not Casey raised his hand. With a smile of noble charity, great Casey's visage shone. He stilled the rising tumult, and he bade the game go on. He signaled to the picture, and once more the spheroid flew. But Casey still ignored it, and the umpire said, Strike two! Fraud! cried the maddened thousands, and the echo answered, Fraud! But one scornful look from Casey, and the audience was awed. They saw his face go stern and cold. They saw his muscles strain. And they knew that Casey would not let that ball go by again. The sneer is gone from Casey's lip. His teeth are clenched in hate. He pounds with cruel vengeance. He's back upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball. And now he lets it go. And now the air is shattered by the force of Casey Blow. Oh, 
Oh, somewhere in this favored land, the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. And somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout. But there is no joy in Mudville. Mighty Casey has struck out. <laughs>